Morning, welcome back to Kiwi Farmer. We're just here at the lease block. I opened a fair few gates over the last few days because uh, they're pretty well all finished slamming. But just here checking uh, the sioux that had milk fever. So we had to give her a bag of oh, 100 mils of this stuff, glucophos. Uh, so it's just um, calcium and magnesium. And uh, yeah. Hopefully you can see her over there, but there she is with her lamb up and down, running and around. So that's a win. Uh, so milk fever is yeah, when they start mobilising the calcium in their bones because they haven't had enough, just because we've been so tight with feed this year. And uh, they end up going into a comatose state and then dying if you don't catch them fast enough. So managed to catch her early and uh, yeah, she's happy as Larry. <laughs> KM Outlander here. Um, it's got an issue with the, the foot brake. It's um, losing pressure. So there's obviously a, uh, a leak in the hose or a joiner or a, a something that's having an issue here somewhere. So I can't see bugger all at the moment. She's at duty. So we'll, we'll um, give it a water blast and try and diagnose where the leak's coming from. That's not terribly ideal. I'm, uh, Lance fell to pieces. <laughs> already fixed it once, so it, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to fix it or not. Mm, okay. So we're digging pretty deep now to find this brake leak. Uh, three of the wheels off that have got brake pads on them. Um, and I think it is the joiner down deep in here that um, splits, so it's a splitter that splits the back brakes to the front brakes with the pedal or the handbrake. So we shall keep digging. I'll we'll have to take this bike apart a bit more. So this one's got me a bit stumped. I uh, got the other water blaster out and uh, gave it a good clean. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just let it sit and we'll see if we can find some oil leaks uh, now that it's clean and panels are off and bits and pieces. Um, I don't really want to get in under here too much um, in case there's something really obvious that I am missing. So we will we'll go harvest some footer beat. Got our wagon all loaded up and what I've done here is I've piled up probably three or four days worth of photo beat. Uh, it's meant to turn wet, cold again for the next few days so safe um, mucking, up, mucking up the paddock and not being able to harvest it. So these are perfect conditions for harvest so we just piled them up there. I can whip in here with the, with the wagon, uh, fill her up with the bucket and then be out of here. So the plan for the stuff I've harvested, you'll see there is some left. Now we're just going to put a wire across here and then we've got our three breeding bulls and a few steers that you would have seen me feed for the big two before. So they are fairly well transitioned. Um, so we'll put a hay feeder in here and then they can just clean up whatever's left um, on the ground. And then at the end of the season we run around with a grubber, cultivate all the bits um, you know, underneath that the sheep haven't got and then uh, virtually 100% utilisation. Right, we'll whip this off, grab your hay bale, got the top, feed some water beaks for cows.
So here we are, uh, out where we're going to plant our willow poles. So these are the ones we planted a couple of years ago, or well, last year, last winter. So they've all rooted and they are um, growing. And you can see the wee buds on them there. What's that one there? Uh, sheep rubbing on it probably. So right, we're going to um, probably replace a few that didn't survive. Um, like this one here fell over or got rubbed over by stock um, and then we'll continue on and plant them up above up the top <laughs> and the girls are going to help me aren't you <laughs> so we're doing um, some willow poles on the side of this wet hill yeah. see down there there's a river just going to get another one yeah yeah, and we're kind of doing less down there because see there's more down there but there's less up kind of where we need them so he's just gonna do some yeah, wiggle, wiggle it wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, now I'll ram it in again there you go, you wanna wiggle? wiggle, wiggle if you can yeah. hear the ground's really um, wet and that's another reason we need the just, and I'm pole. Making a hole. That's another reason we need the poles here because they can be big sluts. Ooh, how deep is that? And okay, yeah. it's back in down there. Wait, can I see how far? Sometimes I can't be big enough on top. What? And then banging it in to make sure the stock that come up here, like, like cows mostly, sheep just rub off them damage them but um so the cows so the stock don't um Tree. Tree. don't oh, um push them over so uh yeah there we go all done yeah just 20 something to go dad's um digging a hole yeah you're digging a hole I'm filling that in. There's there. Right, another one. Finished, are we, Georgia? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got our poles starting here and all the way down this wet spot through that slip. Uh, yeah, and tying into the ones that we've already planted down the bottom there. So it's enough hill climbing for me today. Way oh, too much hey, for Georgia. me. Way too much for me. <laughs> Way too much. Cool, so thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and uh, thumbs up the video. And uh, yeah, I've got to go home and spend an hour on the indoor cycle trainer. So. What do you say, Georgia? Good night. Have a nice day next time. <laughs> Goodbye. See you later.